What's going on guys, Alex here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to use Go High Level for social media automation and scheduling. And this isn't just a basic walkthrough, I'm gonna show you how expert marketers are using these tools to build authority, generate leads, and of course, grow their revenue. And by the end of this, you'll know not just how to schedule posts, but how to use them to actually grow your business. Before we get started, if you don't already have a Go High Level account, I went ahead and I dropped a link in the description for a 14-day free trial. That way you can follow along as I go through this tutorial and you can test everything yourself. But before we get into the steps, let's talk about why this actually matters. Most people just see social media as posting content, but that's why they struggle to grow. The businesses that win treat social media like a system, a system that builds authority, keeps their brand consistent, and drives revenue. And that's where Go High Level comes in. It takes all the moving parts like scheduling, automation, and analytics, and it puts it all in one place. So for example, if you're a local business, you can map out promotions and events weeks ahead. There's no scrambling for that post last minute. And if you're a coach or consultant, you can set up a content routine that educates your audience, builds trust, and positions your offer in a way where you don't have to always be online. And if you're an agency, you can run multiple brands all from one dashboard. You can also push posts through approval and report on the results that actually matter, like booked calls, sales and leads so go high level isn't just a tool to help you post more it's a tool to give you more control and when you have control you stop playing this catch-up game with your content and you actually start to grow your business all right so with that said let's jump right into it all right so once you log into your go high level dashboard look at the menu on the left hand side click marketing which is right above automation and the first option that you'll see is called social planner and this is where everything happens think of the social planner as your content hub Instead of having to log into five different platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, you can have them all in one place. So why this is super helpful is because it allows you to schedule and manage all of these accounts in one place. That way you're not jumping all over the place when you're posting. If you're somebody who has tried growing on multiple platforms, you understand the struggle of having to go from one platform to the next platform to the next platform, all to post the same piece of content. And something that I really wanna emphasize for you guys is don't just treat this as a posting tool. You wanna treat this as a publishing system. A publishing system is what separates amateurs who post when they feel like it or when they feel inspired compared to the professionals who drive consistent revenue through their content. All right, so let's jump into it. Let me show you guys how to actually connect your account. You can connect your Facebook and your Instagram. If you connect your Facebook, oftentimes your Instagram will also be connected. All right, so for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my direct Instagram account. So direct Instagram integration. This is what you get. It doesn't require a Facebook page and the creator account can auto post stories. So go ahead and press select. Then you'll just go ahead and log in. I will say allow. So then if you go back to the Go High Level page, it'll ask you which page do you wanna connect. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I wanna connect this page right here. All you simply have to do is press add and then it says connected and you're good to go. So we'll exit out of this and you can see that we have an Instagram account already connected. So if you go ahead and refresh the page, you'll be able to see that your Instagram account is connected. If you wanna add any more social medias, all you simply have to do is just press add new social and you'll be able to connect your Facebook, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, your TikTok, your YouTube, or your Pinterest. You can also to do so from right here plus socials and then you can connect any one of these look I also want to tell you guys don't connect every platform just because you can you want to focus on where your target audience is so if you're a b2b business your target audience will most likely be on LinkedIn or Facebook but if you're somebody who's targeting Gen Z or the age range of 18 to 25, that demographic will most likely be on the platforms like Instagram or TikTok. I always like to say that trying to be everywhere spreads you too thin. Focus on two to three channels that actually drive revenue for your business. All right, so now that you have your account connected, let's go ahead and explore the social planner dashboard. So you're obviously gonna have this section right here that says planner. You'll be able to add a new post directly from here. You'll also be able to filter all of your scheduled posts. You can schedule it by different content types. You can also schedule it by the status. So if the content is published, failed, scheduled, if it's a draft or if it's in review. And then you can also filter it by approval status. So if you have a quality management team for each piece of your content and you wanna make sure the content that you're putting out is the best and up to your standard, you can have a content quality team to go ahead and approve or reject 
the piece of content. You can also see who it's created by. You can see who the approver is, and then you can go ahead and group it into different categories. So I'll show you how to actually group something into a category right here. So next up, I'll show you just what a category is and how you can actually group it. All you have to do is go right here, and then you can press create a new group. This is super useful if you want to separate your content. Maybe you have long form and short form content, so you can make a group for short form content, which would be TikTok and Instagram Reels, and then long form content, which would be YouTube or podcasts. All you have to do in order to do this is just type in a group name. So let's say short form, and then you go ahead and add the account that's associated with your short form content. This is awesome because you have a list. I like the planner because it works for everybody. If you're somebody who likes the list view, that's what this will be. But you can also look at the calendar calendar view, which will look like this. This is a calendar view that shows you your scheduled posts. So you kind of get a bird's eye view of the content that you have going out for the week or for the month. On the side, you'll notice sections for bulk uploads, added multiple posts that runs. So in the content tab, you'll be able to see things like reoccurring posts, posts that you have in review. You'll see a template library as well as approval. So the approval workflows are really great, especially if you're running a team, you can go ahead and approve them before they go live. So on the tab over is called the statistics tab. So you can see what's working and what's not working. It'll show you all of your social medias combined, or it'll show you individually. If you just go ahead and press Instagram, you can see just Instagram by itself. And if you want to see all of them combined, you can see the total number of posts, the total likes, the total followers, total impressions, total comments. You can see the social post performance, the number of posts that you have across all of your social medias, you can see the engagement. So the likes, the comments, the shares, you can see the impressions that you're getting across all of your social medias combined, you can see your post reach, as well as your top performing post, which I think is a very useful tool. You can also see engagement status, your total impressions, your total followers across all of your accounts combined. And then you can see the total likes, you can also see your gender and demographic, and also the age ranges of your audience. Look, I really want to stress that Anna Analytics isn't just about likes or impressions. As a business owner, the number one thing you need to be looking at and the number one thing you need to be measuring is what drives revenue. Sure, you can use the analytics tab to identify your top performing content, but don't just stop there. Ask yourself which posts are leading to actual clicks, which posts are leading to actual booked calls, and which ones are just vanity engagement that look good, but that don't actually convert. This is super important because if you don't do this, you'll waste your time making content that gets likes but doesn't drive sales. All right, so with all that covered, let's go ahead and create a new post for you. All you have to do is press this big blue button that says new post, and then you'll just simply press create new post. You'll select the social media account that you want to create the post for. So right now we only have Instagram connected, we'll do that. And then you can go ahead and type in your piece of content right here. So let's say that, hey guys, launching a new offer, looking to take on 10 people comment ready if you want to join obviously not the best copywriting but you get the idea so this shows you that the content you type right here is going to go ahead and be in the caption you can see that this is a feed post you also have the ability if you look down here to have a real are a story. All right. So you can post a feed post, a reel or a story. A quick tip for captions is you just want to be simple and you want to be clear and you want to be direct and to the point. If you're targeting somebody, you really want to hit on their pain point. So how can you include their pain point into your caption? Obviously, I'm not doing it right here, but just giving you guys some advice when you're writing your captions. All right, so let me run you guys through the different features that you have available to you. You can go ahead and use the bold text, italicize text, you can use emojis, you can also use images, you can upload an image, you can upload a video, you can add hashtags right here, tags, and then you can add links. And then you can also add your geographic location with this button right here. Let's say that we want to go ahead and add a picture. And maybe we don't have a picture right now. The cool thing about go high level is it actually has stock footage. So all you have to simply do if you want to go ahead and upload an image is just press image right here, you can upload from your media storage, you simply just press this upload button and you can pick any image that you want to upload. Same thing goes for video. If you go video right here, you can just go ahead and upload a video using the media storage. Okay. So another cool option that I don't think most people talk about is just the AI features inside of go high level. So you can see this caption right here. If we press AI, it'll generate with AI, it'll improve your writing, fix spelling and grammar, simplify writing, make longer, make shorter. So let's just say that we want to make it longer. It'll go ahead and open up a chat and you just got to give it a little second for it to actually load. And this is the caption that it went ahead and generated for us just based off of our simple caption that we already had. You can see this, this already looks a lot better. So let's take this 
It also adds some hashtags for you. So we'll go ahead and copy this and we'll do it right here and we'll paste it. And there you go. We have a whole new caption with hashtags. You can also see that this is how it'll look on your Instagram feed. So that's awesome. And if we scroll down here, you also have the ability, like I mentioned earlier, to make a real post or make a story post. Keep in mind right here on the right hand side, you can double check formatting here because what looks great on Instagram might not look good on TikTok. So if you're posting the same thing on multiple different platforms, so just keep in mind that if you're posting on multiple platforms, how something looks on one platform might not look good on another platform. So just go ahead and individually change them so that it looks native to that social platform. Another quick tip is every scheduled post should link back to your funnel. Don't just post for the sake of posting. You want to make sure that every post you make is leading somebody closer to your ecosystem. So whether that's them opting in with a keyword to get hit up by many chat so that way they get your free offer or your lead magnet and then they get into your email list or your wait list. Just keep that in mind when you're posting. All right, so once this post looks good, obviously it'll have a picture right here, but let's go ahead and look at the different post options. So all you have to do to post it is press this right here, and then you can go ahead and post now, which means send out the post to the selected social channel slash accounts. You can schedule that post for a certain time. You can send posts for approval, and then you can schedule reoccurring posts. So let's just say for this one, we wanna go ahead and schedule the post. It'll allow you to pick the date and the time that you want this to go ahead and be scheduled. And once you have that locked in, It'll just say schedule post right here. You click it and then it'll be scheduled. It also shows you the best times to post for your local time zone. So the best times to post in Los Angeles is 5 to 6 p.m., 7 to 8 p.m. And that is actually accurate because I try to post the majority of my content around that time because that's when everybody gets out of work. That's when everybody's at home eating dinner, sitting on their couch, relaxing. If you try to post at like around 5 p.m., like 4.35, people are in traffic. So I would maybe probably go for the 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. if you're gonna go ahead and post later in the day. So that's how you go ahead and schedule a post. Underneath there is just send for approval. So if you wanna send the post for approval and somebody can review it before it actually goes live, that's where you'll go ahead and press send post for approval. And reoccurring posts repeat posts automatically at a set time. So for example, a reoccurring post could be if you have a weekly live Q&A multiple times a week on your Instagram, you can go ahead and do a reoccurring post for that. Look, I'm gonna keep on saying it, but scheduling isn't about convenience, it's about having control. If you already know that your audience is most active at 7 p.m., you don't wanna be stuck to your computer every night at 7 p.m. You wanna plan once, plan ahead, and create a system that actually works for you. So that's where the reoccurring posts really come in handy with Go High Level. Here's a framework that'll probably help you with your content, it's called the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your scheduled posts should nurture, educate, inspire, or engage your audience. And 20% of your posts should actually sell. So promote your offers, any promotions you have going on, and any events. This content style really builds trust so you don't overwhelm your audience with a bunch of sales pitches. Next up, I just wanna dive a little bit deeper into reoccurring posts. This is where I think automation really just starts to take over. Okay, so sure, I mentioned the example of you having an Instagram Q&A, but now let's mention a different example. Say you have a weekly webinar at 2 p.m. every single Thursday. You don't want to be creating a new post every week. Instead, schedule it once and set it to repeat every Thursday afternoon, and that way it'll automatically publish for you. The same logic applies for local events or weekly promotions that you have going on. And this isn't just a time saver, it's really a scaling tool. As your business grows, reoccurring posts keep your content engine running without any additional effort. Look, here's the difference between a business that just dabbles in content versus a business that actually uses it to help them grow. They have a set routine. And here's a simple routine that you can go ahead and copy right now. Monday is just an educational post. So this can be a quick tip that just shows your expertise. Maybe if you're an Instagram growth expert, you can go ahead and give a weekly growth tip. If you're a YouTuber, you can go ahead and give a weekly title tip to help somebody write better titles. If you're a fitness coach, you can go ahead and give them a better tip in order to hit their macros better. So that's an education post. Wednesdays can be an engagement post. So what you can do for this is you can ask a question, post behind the scenes, or share any of your customer wins. And then Friday can be your promotional post day. For promotional posts, you can highlight an offer, a future, or a service that you offer. This structure keeps your feed balanced. You have value, you have education, 
and you have sales. This structure keeps your feed balanced. What I mean by balanced is you have a mix of a content type. So you have value, you have engagement, and you have sales. If you're treating your social media as a business, these are three things that you want to be sure that you're hitting every single week. And with Go High Level, it's really simple to just set this up in one sitting so that you have a reoccurring system and a content machine going for you in the background. All right, now let's go ahead and jump back into Go High Level and let's go back to the analytics. So if you have your post right here, all you simply have to do is just press save for later and then you can go ahead and edit it later on and it'll show up right here for you if you wanna go ahead and see it is a draft. So that's the status. It shows you the date that it was created. It shows you which social media account and it also shows you the caption of that social media post. But let's go ahead and go back into statistics and we'll talk a little bit more about just how important seeing your top performing post is. You don't want to just look at reach or likes as a marketer. You really want to use this as data. You want to see your winners. So if a post type consistently outperforms others, you want to make that into a reoccurring post or a reoccurring style that's happening on your Instagram. Right now, a lot of what's working on Instagram are challenges and series. So something that people can consistently come back to, that's what works on Instagram. But yeah, that's just a quick Instagram growth tip for you guys if you're looking to grow your personal brand. And vice versa, you wanna go ahead and cut the losers. You wanna keep the winners, cut the losers. So if a style post never performs, stop wasting your energy on it. Look, you really wanna double down strategically. So use your top content for paid campaigns you can also go ahead and repurpose it into emails, which is something huge that I see a lot of the bigger creators doing. And another big one is just turning them into actual ads. If your content performs well organically, that means it really resonated with the audience. So you can go ahead and turn those into ads to drive more traffic. It can be a follow campaign. If it's your organic content, maybe it's a day in the life, that'll probably work really well. And this is how marketers actually use data, not just for engagement or vanity metrics, but they use it for actual growth systems. All right, now really quick, let's cover some traps that you wanna avoid. Being everywhere at once is probably one of the biggest downfalls that I see in creators. Don't try to dominate every platform unless you have the resources to do so. Most resources that are gonna hold you back are going to be time and it's going to be money. If you don't have enough time to edit the videos yourself, you obviously obviously have to hire a video editor and for each platform you need a different style of video editor because YouTube video editors can't really do what Instagram editors do everybody is specific in where they perform best so just keep that in mind if you have the resources to build out a big team then sure go ahead and try to take over multiple platforms but if you only have yourself and maybe you're a solopreneur go ahead and try to stick to one to two platforms that you can grow yourself without burning yourself out so just focus on that one or two platforms that matter the most to you. The next mistake is just posting without a CTA. Every post should have a next step, even if it's subtle. The next mistake is just chasing vanity metrics. Stop chasing likes, okay? That's where everybody messes up. You don't wanna chase likes, but you want to chase actions actions that lead to leads or more sales. The last one is just automating without checking. So automation doesn't replace human interaction. You always wanna make sure that you're checking your comments and that you're checking your messages. That way you're actually building a connection with your audience and the people who are following you. And there you have it. As you saw, scheduling and automating your post in Go High Level is pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. You can connect to your account, plan your content, and let the systems handle the posting while you focus on growing your actual business. And the best part is you don't need to reinvent the wheel every week. With reoccurring posts, analytics, and a simple routine, you can keep your accounts active and build that trust with your audience without having to spend hours glued to your phone. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to give Go High Level a try, use the free 14-day trial link in the description down below. That way you can test everything that was covered and test how it works in your workflow. Just keep in mind that that is an affiliate link. So if you use it, we highly appreciate it because it lets us keep making amazing videos like this for you guys. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. It really does help support the channel and helps us keep creating content like this for you. But that's it for me, Alex. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.